This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, if a teacher's assistant can grade three and a half papers per hour, how many papers will a teacher's assistant grade in six and two thirds hours? So in order to solve this one, I'm gonna use a proportion. Again, a proportion is nothing more than two fractions that are set equal to each other. And I'm gonna fill in more specifically the left-hand side of the proportion with the information I have, notably that the teacher's assistant can grade three and one half papers every hour. That said, we want to determine how many papers, so that's unknown. Let's represent that with the letter variable X. The teacher's assistant could grade in six and two thirds hours. You saw proportions, you may recall, via cross multiplication. So one times X is X, uh, and then we have three and a half times six and two thirds, three and a half times six and two thirds. All right, so um, the way I like to multiply mixed numbers is by converting them to improper fractions. Again, I know the denominator in my improper fraction three, for three and a half is going to be two. Likewise, I know the denominator in six and two thirds is going to be three. Those values don't change. Now we have to find our numerator. To do that, we're going to do uh, three times two, which is six plus one, which is seven. So three and a half is the same thing as seven over two. Let's do the same thing to find the numerator here. Six times three is 18 plus two is 20. So six and two thirds is the same thing as 20 over three. All right, so let me rewrite this so it's pretty easy to see. Uh, it's getting a little bunched up there. We have seven over two times 20 over three. Now to make this math a lot easier to do, uh, you always wanna consider cross reducing when possible. In this case, I noticed that two goes into two one time, two goes into 20 10 times. So this becomes uh, seven over one times 10 over three. And when you multiply two fractions, you just multiply straight across. So in other words, this becomes seven times 10, which is 70 over one times three, which is three. All right, so this isn't an answer choice because we can actually convert 70 over three to a mixed number. And I'm gonna do that via long division. Again, you could read all fractions as long division. So I could read this as 70 divided by three. All right, so how many times does three go into seven? It goes into seven two times without going over. Three times two is six. Seven minus six is one. Drop down this zero. How many times does three go into 10 without going over? That's gonna be three times. Three times three is nine. 10 minus nine is one. All right, so in order to continue doing the long division, we would have to add a decimal and so on and so forth. But in this case, we have enough information to convert this to a mixed number. This 23 is gonna be our whole number. This remainder of one is gonna be the numerator in our fraction. And this three is gonna be our denominator. So the answer to this one is B. It will take the TA uh, six and two thirds hours to grade 23 and one third papers, so B.